on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Hello everyone and welcome to my studio. I'm Amy Nicole and I'm coming to you from sunny and summery South Texas. And today I am so excited to share with you my wilder gown. Yes, I finally jumped on the bandwagon and made the wilder gown. I really wasn't sure about it because it's a very like mid-seasonal piece. Like it's not really a fall, winter, and it's not really a summer for me anyway because it's I you know, I don't do sleeves in the summer, and we don't have a lot of in-between seasons here in Texas. But I had this beautiful fabric, and it was just screaming, make me into a wilder gown. And I saw all the beautiful wilders on Instagram, and I just had to bite the bullet and do it. And y'all, I am so happy that I did. This pattern is easy. It's gorgeous and it is I love something that is like it's so comfortable easy comfortable gorgeous that is my kind of pattern I feel like a million bucks when I wear this dress I feel like I belong on the set of the Golden Girls which is like a dream come true <laughs> and it is just it's, I cannot say enough great things about this pattern. It will not be my last Wilder for sure. Um, so let's dive in and talk about the fabric. This fabric is beautiful. It is, um, I guess, a chiffon. It's not quite as see-through as some chiffons I've seen, but I would, I would say that it's probably a chiffon. It is this beautiful, very on-trend blush pink color, which I don't love pink, but I do love blush. But I hesitate to wear it because it's kind of like very close to my skin color, and I feel like it washes me out. But just pop on some fun lipstick, and it's it works. And it's got polka dots. I love polka dots. I love the multi-different sized polka dots. I got this fabric from a pattern maker that I used to work for when they were cleaning out their studio. They were so kind and sent me a ton of fabric and this was in there and I just knew that it needed to be a wilder the second I saw it. And it is of course chiffon meaning it's see-through so I had to make myself a slip to go with it which I did a little uh, quick and easy Ogden cami slip hack out of this super soft and luxurious pink silk charmeuse that I had. Well, it's a little more peachy than pink um, that I had in my stash almost at the end of this. Um, and I have another dress that I plan on making this year that will require the same slip. So um, it's probably a little longer than it needs to be. I wanted it to it's at this second tier line um, and it's a little bit longer but I don't want to hem it until I see where it needs to be on the other dress um, so I can, I can hopefully like match those um, so definitely needs to wear a slip but I could also like wear this over a swimsuit at the beach or you know as if I go to the beach all the time um, <laughs> I chose to do what a lot of people do. So this is all gathered just by this tie, um, which looks really cute if you wear it tied up all the way. Um, but also, if you're planning on wearing it like me, sort of loose and open, the, the top gathers tend to fall out and look um, a little sloppy. So I did what I've seen a lot of people do and I put a stay stitch. I gathered it to where I wanted it and I thought it would look cute and I put a stay stitch here um, keeping the tie in place so it keeps those gathers um, whether I'm wearing it open or if I tie it closed and wear it closed. I did French seams at the armholes. It has a raglan sleeve, which is very comfy. 
I did not do French scenes on the gathering just because it seemed like it might be a hassle. Um, yeah, this pattern came together really quick. I did not make any fit adjustments. It fits perfect. I think even the length was perfect. It's supposed to kind of hit just above the ankle. And um, as a shorty, I'm sure it hits me a little bit longer than some people, but it, it sits pretty pretty great. Um, I don't remember what size I made, but I think it was the smallest size. And like I said, it fits beautifully. I have zero complaints about this pattern. It's just gorgeous. It's genius. Make it and you will not regret it. Join the Wilder bandwagon. I highly recommend. I would love to make the top of this in the long sleeve for fall and I already have a plan on which fabric I'm going to use for that. I would love to make another Wilder that doesn't require a slip and maybe some kind of sleeveless hack for summer, um, which I don't think would be too hard to do. You would just kind of cut the sleeve shorter where you want it and stitch it in and then you would just finish the rest of the armhole in bias, much like I did for my Fiber Moon dress a while back, my Fiber Moon Mindy dress. Um, so I'm like eyeing my stash to see what other like slinky, flowy fabrics I have that could be good for a short, uh, sleeveless wilder. Um, I love the like hippy dippy vibes that I get with this. So I of course had to wear my flower crown for the pictures and I just want to twirl and drink a, what did somebody say? And, and I was trying to decide what kind of drink you drink in this dress. And I think someone said an Aperol Spritz, which is very appropriate. Um, I'm so happy to finally be sharing this with you. If you have not made this pattern yet, check it out. Wilder Gown by Friday Pattern Company. And thank you so much for joining me and letting me share this with you today. Happy sewing and happy